set up your Google Analytics account, go to analytics.google.com and sign in to your Gmail. I'm already signed in, so I'm just going to go and press sign up and that will guide me through the process. So on sign up, I'm brought to this screen, which is the new account screen. In the new account screen, I've got the choice between mobile, apps and website. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose website. So I enter my account name here, which can be your company name, your client's name. It's not your URL. It's not, it's not your www. It is the name of your company or indeed your client. So in this case, next thing you have to name your website. So if your client has multiple brands with different websites, you might name these differently along the way. But for most, it's simply name it after the brand name. Next up, we have to choose our website URL. We can have this on HTTP or secured certificate if you have a secure cert. Um, and simply enter the web address of the website that you're going to do the analytics for. So again, account name, website name, and then web address. Choose your category. And choose your time zone. Next up, we have to look at our data sharing options. Serve our, uh, we want to see, first of all, next up, we look at our data sharing options. We have to check whether we want to share our data with other Google services like Google Ads and Search Console. So you're able to swap your data around between the different Google products. Recommended you leave that ticked. Benchmarking, so you can use the benchmarking report. Technical support, so if you ever ring up Google looking for a bit of help, they can actually look in on your account and likewise with the account specialists. When all these are set up, your account name, website name, URL, and you've decided on your data sharing options, you choose to get your tracking ID. Now, before you get your tracking ID, you have to sign up to the terms of service for your country. So within the European Union, you have to have GDPR considerations. So you must take that box. Then you skim through the terms of service, read it at your leisure, and if you're happy with it, agree to this and accept. So next we are brought to this tracking ID page where you're presented with your tracking ID. This is the universal analytics code. This has to be placed on every single page of your website. Ask your web developer to do it. But if you have Google Tag Manager in place on your website, all you need to do is put this code into Google Tag Manager and that will automatically run Google Analytics throughout your website. And that, in a nutshell, is how you set up your Google Analytics account.